Welcome to this episode of Dive Into DX. This time, we're going to learn more about PHI, an FDA-approved blood test used as an aid in distinguishing prostate cancer from benign prostatic conditions. Alan is 70 years old, and Diana is 67 years old. They've been married for 40 years and are enjoying their retirement years by traveling and spending time with their grandchildren. Alan has been having annual checkups since he turned 50. Prior to his checkup, he had his blood drawn for a PSA test. In addition to the test, and as part of a routine checkup, the doctor performed a DRE, a digital rectal exam, and found some prostate abnormality. Alan was diagnosed with elevated levels of PSA. PSA is prostate-specific antigen, a protein that is produced by normal as well as malignant cells of the prostate gland. The doctor recommends a biopsy to ensure that the reason for the PSA elevation is not cancer. PSA can be elevated for a lot of reasons, for example because of prostatitis, inflammation of the prostate, and benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH, enlargement of the prostate. And here is the problem with PSA testing. Studies have shown that about 75% of men with an elevated PSA do not have prostate cancer. That's a lot of men getting a biopsy for no good reason. Alan was concerned about the complications that come with biopsies and decided to get a second opinion with a doctor who was using the PHI to test for prostate cancer. The PHI is intended to fill the diagnostic gap between PSA screening and a prostate biopsy. It is a mathematical formula of three biomarkers and has a high diagnostic accuracy rate and a better predictive value in patients harboring aggressive disease. Allen's doctor explained the benefits of PHI. While PSA is a widely used screening tool for prostate cancer, its limited specificity for cancer necessitates a more precise tool for prostate cancer detection. PHI is intended to fill the diagnostic gap between PSA screening and a prostate biopsy. Combined with family and patient history, the PHI can be used to determine the best individualized patient management decisions for those diagnosed with prostate cancer. The word cancer has a huge connotation and bias for treatment or diagnosis, but thanks to PHI, Allen did not have to go through a prostate biopsy and endure the risks that come with this invasive procedure. From now on, Allen has decided to demand that he get his PHI score before the doctor recommends biopsy.